Welcome back to the Drivers Hub and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, in this vlog, we are going to be covering Hyderabad Speed Fest, which has been organized by Elite Octane. And if you haven't already noticed, we're uh, basically here with check engines and Venom Performance. And this is the basically the Venom Performance car, the VRS 600. So I think so. We've already seen some cool B-roll of cars from Hyderabad. You know, some really really special stuff like the Gallardo Performante, bunch of M5s. Oi, mar jayega. Uh, this really cool RS6 Avant with PBS wheels, lot of lot of different things. Now we're just getting into the pit area. This is our spot, I guess. And from there, we'll go inside. We'll meet a bunch of people, and let's see what happens. So unfortunately during the event we were a bit too lazy and a bit too busy to do talking shots so that's why I'm going to be doing the explanation and everything that we did at Hyderabad Speed Fest right here right now. So during Hyderabad Speed Fest we saw a bunch of really cool and really rare cars. There were a host of Ferraris, F8 Tributo, uh, a 296 GTB had come all the way from New Delhi. You had some insane insane builds done by uh, Racecraft which is one of the uh, biggest tuning houses in Hyderabad. Uh, you had a crazy RS6, you had an M5 which was stage 2, it was making around 800 horsepower and you know a lot of crazy stuff. And when it comes to rarity, there was a Gallardo Performante and a Huracan Performante. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the two cars in the same frame but yeah, that was a really really special sight to see. Now coming to the drag racing, we went all the way to the end of the drag strip as far as we could and we took some really amazing flybys and the drag racing was really close and really special because it was under the night lights. when we were kind of representing Venom performance and yep we were really rooting for Sriram and his VRS 600 to do some amazing timings but apart from that car and the whole team that we were representing we were of course looking out for some really amazing builds done by some of our other tuner friends we had a lot of people over there like harmonics tuning code 6 uh, Tunotronics, you had Alpha Logic, you had Kickshift, and all of these amazing garages uh, that had come to represent themselves at Hyderabad Speedway, which is, I think, so one of the biggest drag racing events to ever occur at Hyderabad. And it has happened after, I think, so 10 15 years at Hyderabad, which is again a very special sight to see. Now, uh, the couple of cars that we were actually really looking uh, out for were the M340i's that Harmonix Tuning had gotten down to Hyderabad. So, one was a stage 2 car and one was a stage 3 car. Now, the stage 3 car, unfortunately, I think so, had some sort of an issue when it came to the fuel it was running. I'm not too sure what the real timing would be if it was running with the optimum fuel, optimum setup, etc, etc. I think so, it's a car that's making around 600 to 700 HP with pure turbos. So, yeah. Up pretty crazy build and and to be very honest the 
timing that they got was actually not that bad. 11.1 seconds without the optimum setup. Yep, that's something that's not really easy to get. But of course, we spoke to Harmonix and we think that they can do much, much better. They're saying that they can easily get into the mid to high 10s and that will be really impressive for a B58 engine to do that in a country like India. But what was more impressive was actually the stage 2 car because it was only 0.2 seconds off of the stage 3 car getting a time of 11.3 seconds and that is actually very impressive stock engine stock turbo only a downpipe filter and a tune and the m340i can do 11.3 seconds that's almost super car rivaling fast yep that is a very impressive build apart from that the cars that we were looking out for in i think so the supercar class were the audi rs6 by tunotronics and of course imran majid kickshift and their absolutely ballistic nissan gtr now the nissan gtr like no surprise was the fastest car at the event clocking in a time of 9.552 And I think so that is a new record set by Kickshift and Imran Majid. Again, hats off to them for doing such an amazing build. I know they faced a lot of problems over the last year or so while building the car. It had all of this drama around it, but still at the end of the day, it breaks records and yeah, it does it time and time again. Excited to see what it does at the next iteration of the event. The second fastest car of the event was Tunotronics and their ballistic Audi RS6. And the cool fact about the Audi RS6 that's running by Tunotronics is that it runs full interior it's not stripped at all anything like it's basically a street going Audi RS6 build they didn't remove the seats they didn't do any sort of weight sharing and for it to do a 10.3 that is very very impressive I think so we need to give a little bit of a poke to Tunotronics and tell them to actually remove the seats you know run in some mad map aggressive map and i think so that car if done properly can actually rival the nissan gtr on its day and of course the other car that we were looking out for was venom performance and their insane vrs 600 and before the race shiram ran into a little bit of a problem with his turbo so he swapped out the turbo i think so he put on a smaller turbo uh, you know they were trying to do some adjustments last minute uh, and still with the smaller turbo shiram was able to do 11.2 second quarter mile And in Draghi, Sriram has done 10.9. I'm pretty sure this car at Ambi Valley is going to turn a lot of heads and probably break a lot of records for a 2-litre four-cylinder turbocharged car. So, we didn't really cover the bike segment because it was not happening at the right time and we unfortunately left a little bit earlier after some of the runs. But in general, it was a really special event to be a part of. We loved the atmosphere. The drag racing was epic. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can see more drag races like this happen in Hyderabad very very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of Hyderabad Speed Fest and should we take part in an event like Hyderabad Speed Fest in the future. Comment all of that down below and I'll catch you in the next one.